The trend set by other cities in Northeast Ohio. The city of Twinsburg has new regulations for clothing donation bins. While some residents say those regulations are much to do about nothing, city officials say they're needed to stop a growing problem. News Live's Jordan Vandenberg joins us live. And Jordan, what are the regulations? Well, quite simply, the regulations city officials say are intended to stop scenes like this. While the donations are certainly welcome, they belong inside the box, not outside the box. It's quite evident that no one's come by to pick up these donations in quite some time. And the regulations govern everything from where bins like these can be placed to what they can look like. But above all else, city officials say they need to know who owns them and who maintains them. They come in all shapes and sizes, boxes and bins. But the reception to some new receptacle regulations. I don't see what's the big deal. Is mixed. Don't think there should be any kind of ordinance on those donations being made. Sarbjeet Tour bought Best Stop two years ago and inherited the pair of Planet Aid donation bins outside his storefront. With the new city ordinance, however, they likely won't be here long. It's just for customer convenience, people's convenience. If people wanted to make those donations, I don't get anything out of it. I just keep it for customer convenience. That's it. The new ordinance places strict regulations on these bins. The property owner must have a written agreement allowing the box and no more than two on any one lot. Fencing must shield the bin from public view. And there's also a $100 permitting fee per bin per year. I think they're probably creating a problem. Daryl Pinnell owns a barbershop near a bin. Never once has it been an issue, he says. I didn't even notice it was there. And it's not a case of out of sight, out of mind. I don't see what's the big deal. I mean, it's give people clothes who might need it. Uh, give people access to get rid of stuff they don't wear no more. I don't want any kind of fencing. I'm actually doing that for customer convenience. I'm covering up my storefront just for people's convenience. I don't need those if I have to pay money for it. Twinsburg's law director says people tend to dump large bulky items near the bins and sometimes bags of clothes are piled up like Legos. Above all else, the law director says, the city previously had no way of knowing who owned or maintained the bins, leaving the taxpayers responsible for cleanup. Tour says he doesn't want the worry. I would ask company to pick up those bins. I don't want that kind of headache. I don't want to pay any money on it. So I'm not getting anything out of it. I'm not putting my clothes in it. And as for the $100 permitting fee, the law director says many on the city council were concerned about that high price tag. He says the planning commission could reduce the fee after a year once the program is up and running, but that fee is going toward starting up the database, and it's not a profit measure for the city. Reporting live in Twinsburg, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.